Let's uh, talk about this thing right here. This is the it's the MC N10, the video grip for Nikon that they made. It uh, I haven't had a chance to really get a lot of real world use with it, but with the rosette attachment arm, which I had to buy separately. And the the damn grip alone is like 500 bucks, so that's a tough sell. But immediately when I saw it, I thought of all these times where I needed to access the camera while it was on a gimbal. Because when it's on the gimbal, you're not supposed to touch it. You can't be fiddling with the buttons and stuff. It's a no-go. But, this thing, it's just, it's like the, the, the right side of the camera. It's just half a camera. It's everything that you'd have up here. It's actually the right side of like a Z9, I think. But, so you can adjust your eyes. So, yeah, all the, all the buttons and switches you're used to. Autofocus, menus, just everything. You, all the functionality of the camera, just put on a grip, bam. And uh, use case, awesome. Because with the gimbal, as good as they do, like you got the wheel on this far end and it's, it's you can only have it to set to one thing at a time. So it's either like ISO or aperture shutter. And it's a pain in the ass. If, you, if you're in a situation where the exposure is changing, you need, you, you can't do that quickly. You have to be like, commit to one of them usually. <clears throat> and that it's a pain in the ass. It's, it really is. And then not being able to dial in your focus. I, don't, I mean, you can get the focus wheel and stuff if you get the pro combo and all that. But in the, I thought about that, though, like the 3D focus stuff. I don't know how well that works, though. I don't, I've, I've never seen it in action. Never seen anyone with it. it, it Any time I've gone to buy it, it's been sold out. So it's expensive, too. Now they got the LiDAR from the Ronin 4D or whatever. That's really expensive. So it's just better more budget friendly to be able to do it's like you're hand holding the camera but on a gimbal at the same time for five hundred dollars the other thing that sucks is <clears throat> because it plugs into the the USB-C port on the Nikon camera you no longer get the gimbal like you can't hit record from the gimbal anymore because it's not hooked up to the camera and that throws me off. I mean, you just hit it right here like you would on your camera, but that's a little weird. So it takes what was one integrated system and it kind of branches. It makes it, I don't know, I need to use it. I know that the times when I have needed it, it would have been perfect. So, so much that as soon as I saw this, I'm like, I have to have it. But I haven't, I've, it hasn't earned its keep yet. I haven't had a chance to really use it a lot, but when that, another thing that sucks is how to, how to set the cable up. Because the cord going from the gimbal to the camera was all, it was, it moved, it was part of the arm, so it just moved with it. This is like completely separate, so you have to worry about it getting tangled. And this is the best I've come up with, like fasten it close, fasten it close, and then you have this middle section for the movement. But I don't know, I'll have to use it. I'll, I'll have to see how that works. But I do love the concept of it. Like this feels good. And man, just, I can't wait to use it. Need something to film. Ooh. It's nicely made, but still $500. It's just, I feel a bit, a bit of buyer's remorse because it wasn't necessary. It's just it massive convenience. It'll make the job much, much easier, but necessary, no. $500. Oh. And I, it's not like I could resell this. Who, who wants it? I'd have to know someone else that shoots an icon and shoots a video.
if you exist, reach out. We need each other. I don't know, I'm just brand loyal, so I don't really care. That, I mean, obviously I don't care. <laughs> I don't have enough money for a Z9 though, so. But that's where it's at. That camera, that's, it's almost too big though. I got to hold one and uh, I'm like, I don't know if this will go in my gimbal. If, it'll, if my RSC2 can lug that thing around. It's just so, it's gigantic. It seems unnecessary. You have to have a Z6 II, Z7 II, or Z9 to use it. it. Does not work on a Z6. Does not work on the camera. This camera. It works on this one. Oh, they did come out with the 85 1.2. I just thought of that. I need to check that out too. I wonder how much that is. Probably an arm and a leg, but you don't need both arms and both legs to use that lens. Assuming it's not overly heavy, you might want both arms. I don't know. Because it's got an 82 millimeter thread for the filter. That's, that's this big. That's, that's like dinner plate. My 14 millimeter. It's huge. It's so big. That's all I got.